Hi Virgos, welcome to your mid-month uh, November 2017 readings. So I'm going to try to get these out at the same time because um, I'm about to be like really busy. <laughs> um, actually, I just came back from a job interview. I was about to put my pajamas on and then I was like, okay, I should probably try to get these done. I'm trying to get better at my scheduling here. Uh, everything's just all wishy-washy. My camera just keeps getting worse and worse. You can see all the spackling. Uh, the more I try to touch it, the worse it gets. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, I have, like, I got a onesie on. <laughs> but I left the top part of my, of uh, what I wore for my um, interview. Because I didn't, I didn't want to wear my bunny onesie. You know, it has a little hoodie on it. Where... So mid-months, hopefully I can keep these shorter. Uh, we're going to pull one angel card. You can substitute the word angel for whatever it is you believe in. Um, the universe is all abundant. Includes everybody's God. Doesn't discriminate. <laughs> we all have something to learn from each other. Uh, and in your monthly readings, I brought up, uh, I'd be interesting to know, like, I'd be interested to know uh, a Virgo's opinion on it. Um, so please, uh, in the comments. In the monthlies, I brought up a, um, a situation that occurs, like, uh, with Iron Chef. Uh, this is going to sound weird. Uh, with the kids version. Hopefully you watch the monthly first. Uh, and like as a Virgo, I know that like for me when I watch that show, I'm both fascinate fascinated and like horrified at the same time. Like that that show is worse to me than a horror movie is. I don't like horror movies. I don't like being scared. But I'm like on the edge of my seat watching that show because they're children playing with knives. So if you watch the monthlies, I'd be curious to know like if any Virgos out there how you would deal with that situation if your child wanted to uh, be a chef. Uh, because if you watch that video, I give it like um, a reason in there that I personally wouldn't be able to allow my kid due to it would be my own personal fear. You know what I mean? Wouldn't be the kid's fault. I'd be holding the kid back. Uh, but if any of you guys, I think Virgos would all have an issue with this. Uh, but I brought it up in your video, so I'd be, I'm like, I'd like to know if a Virgo would be able to accept that if their child wanted to do it. Hopefully you watch the monthly and you, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to wait for a card to fall out. Hopefully they do. My Virgo Rising is very pleased with these cards. I like these cards because of the way they glide. <laughs> I get some sort of sick pleasure out of it. Or It's like if I'm having a stressful day, this might work for you Virgos too. If you're having a stressful day, there's like these videos on YouTube of like um, making perfect things. Like people that are doing things and like that, that are just perfect. I'll have to, I'll try to see if I can post a um, link for one of them. There we go. There's a card. Better popper. I actually get I get calm when I watch one of those videos. They like they satisfy me. So the card we have is called a happy change. And if you get an intuitive hit, follow that. So it says your angels have heard your prayers and have have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Oh, so that's good, Virgos. Hopefully this means that I'm going to get the job that I want. <laughs> because it's rare to find a job that allows you to schedule your own hours. Where So, uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> um Whatever you're concerned about, it seems that it's going it's going to be um, fixed, is what I'm getting from the card. You may have some, it's saying fast change, um, that could, you know, you are a mutable sign, but, you know, if it's a change that you don't want, or that's sudden, uh, that's a surprise. I know personally, I don't like surprises. <laughs> uh it could it could get you a little off balance, but it's saying it's going to be positive, so I wouldn't worry about it. And it's um, talking about harmony here. I look like freaking Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> Not this pale, people. I got a tan. I did a lot of paddleboarding this year. It was my first year doing it. I actually enjoyed it. 
I got a little seasick the last time I went, though. And I went out a little too far. I got scared. I stay, like, in the water where as long as you can uh, hit the bottom of the sand, I'm good. I don't need to go out any further than that. <laughs> I got nothing to prove. So the first card we got is the Knight of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Queen of Wands. Well, this is definitely saying, Virgos, that there's some things that you need to release. And underneath we have the Two of Cups. Um, I associate that with Libra. Because it's the partnership card. And actually, I haven't really paid um, much attention to the asteroids in my chart. Besides my Pisces one, which sits in, it's spelled P-A-L-L-A-S. I'm not going to say that because I'm not going to say it correctly. <laughs> so I'll spell it. Uh... And I found out some pretty interesting things. Um, I just recently started studying um, my personal um, chart uh, in that manner. I never focused on the asteroids, like the Vista and uh, what's the other one? There was another one. They were both sitting in Libra and it explained quite a bit. <laughs> so for some of you guys, you might want to look into that and that might um, provide you with some clarity. It was like an aha moment, or more like a holy crap moment. Uh, so you have the Knight of Wands, which is quick action. Uh, this is a Sagittarius card. Doesn't mean it's Sagittarius. This means it's the energy that you're going to have to take on. It's a quick, fast movement. I feel like this is going to come in and it's going to go out real fast. Like this energy, it's going to come in and then go out. It could be a, a friend, family member. Or a particular person. I feel like this person's coming in to help you though. I don't feel like it's in a negative way. I, I feel like you're going to be a little, for some Virgos, you're going to be a little, like, off. Like, it might put you in a, I'm getting like a very, like, you know? <laughs> like, a facial expression, that's the way... I'm feeling, though, it's like a what, you know, or like a confused uh, energy. Uh, but this is also saying that you have to release something. This person can come in from the past. You might have to release a fire sign from the past. Uh, or it's not a fire sign. It could be a particular person. Uh, so this is saying, like, somebody you were connected with, you have to release them. So this means that you have to stop the thinking process. Uh, you got to stop thinking about them. Uh, because you're giving them energy, uh, and it's just going to keep re replaying. Like, there's some sort of thing, like, I'm picking up of, like, there's a little bit of guilt, or, like, if you've made the right decision or not, and it's saying not to worry about it and not to feel guilty, okay? Like, you're starting a new beginning here. You have protection. Um, you have the Queen of Wands, which means you got to take action. This is the energy that you're going to be... Uh, taking on. Okay, so for um, males, it's asking you to take on the feminine aspect. And for females, you'll be in this energy. But for the males, what it's um, how you take on this energy is okay, the male brain and the female brain uh, were completely different. Uh, they both have positive and negatives. Okay, one can do what the other one can't. This is why you need both, right? To, to plan, okay? Uh, that's why they say women are from Venus and men are from Mars. <laughs> okay, because men actually have the uh, capability to think about nothing. They have done research on this. They've hooked up those little things on the heads. Uh, and when they're watching TV, they actually think about nothing. This is why women get mad. Like, did you not hear what I said? Well, like, they're not avoiding you intentionally. They're literally just thinking about nothing. So really, like, it's not their fault. They can't, they can't help that. Okay, a man's brain works in... Um, in like boxes, in compartments, compartmentalized. Uh, so this means when they're, they have a problem, they have complete focus on that one problem or what they're thinking about. So if they're, say, thinking about sex, they'll be completely focused on sex. So when like a woman's like wondering, are they thinking about another woman? No, they really aren't. They're just focused on you, all right? But they only have the capability to do that at that moment. 
All right, like their attention is fully on you. If they are considering a job, they're completely focused on that job. Okay, the women's mind, okay, works differently. They're not in compartments. Okay, this is why women suffer from more anxiety, more stress. Okay, uh, and this is why they get mad at men all the time. <laughs> You gotta have compassion for each other, people, okay? Like, there's the difference here. You both have positive and negatives. The female brain is like a wired system, so everything's connected. So this means when they're troubleshooting, um, they're not completely focused on that one problem. They're focused on, like, everything else as well that will affect that problem, right? Where a man has the ability to just focus on that problem, uh, so he can handle a situation maybe a little bit better in that scenario, but in the same way, a woman... Okay, you, she can handle that situation in a different way than a man uh, to give aspects that he wouldn't consider. He's only considering that one thing. A woman is considering everything else. Her whole brain's wired together. It's interconnected. It's working all at the same time. They do not have the capability uh, to think about nothing. They don't have that um, pleasure. <laughs> it would be nice, right, ladies? Uh, so for the men, it's saying what the energies they want you to do is they want you to really consider other things in your approach for that one thing. Okay. That might be a little bit hard, but it's like focus on that problem. It's saying for you men. And then after you focus on that problem, try to branch off and consider what that, what the solution, how is it going to affect all of these other things? So it's, let's give an example here. So if you have a child and you notice your, ch your child, uh, you want to move. Let's just say you want to move. All right. Uh, and you've picked the area you want to move. Okay. Well, now you need to figure out how is that going to affect everything else? How is that going to affect your traveling time? How is that going to affect uh, your personal time with your husband and wife and your children? Are you going to have more time with your children? Okay. So it's not just considering I'm going to make more finances. Okay. There's other things that you have to consider. Okay. Like uh, you pick a job that's traveling, then that means you're sacrificing your relationship. Okay. So it's like you have to you have to, and also if you're moving and that affects your children, like, is, how is it going to affect my children? Is it going to be a positive? Is it going to be a negative, right? Like, are they doing well in school right now? If they're getting all A's, then maybe, okay, they're in the proper area and you need to like consider that and then make it, do you understand what I'm saying? Does this make sense? But for ladies, you'll be in your own energy. For males, it's just asking you to consider other things with that. So for you, you might want to write it down on a piece of paper, like a bubble thought. So have the, once you have your solution, have it right in the center and then branch it out. Uh, so you have the ability um, to see what else it's going to affect. And for each of you, it's going to be different. It, like I'm just giving an example with moving. It could be in any decision you're going to make. It's just asking you males to consider other things. Okay. Uh, for, I feel like for you females, you're going to be quite passionate. You have to release what happened in the past. It's a new start here. A new cycle is kind of what I'm getting. Um, you're protected. So, but this means that, okay, you, you can't overanalyze things, Virgos. You can't think yourself to death. Okay. <laughs> this means you just need to trust in yourself. Have complete trust in yourself and in your abilities. Uh, you're going to be quite passionate. It's saying you're going to get like... Um, Okay, some of you might be very fun, too. Uh, you you might be out of your energy a little bit here. You might get a little a little more fun to you. You know what I mean? So this means, like, I used the Iron Chef in the beginning. Um, they also have a, a show where it's, like, mystery basket. So, like, you pull all these ingredients, and then you got to combine them together and make a meal. Uh, so, like, if you have a family, okay, um, you can get your children... Uh, to be the judge on it, or you can include your children. Again, I'd like to know Virgo's opinion on that. Uh, but you and your husband can have a face-off, and your children create the mystery basket. And in that show, they have like a 20-minute time limit to make like an appetizer, and then 20-minute um, time limit to make a uh, uh, main dish, and then 20 minute or half an hour, I think it is, for the main dish, and then 20 minutes for the dessert. You know what I mean? It's like friendly competition including your children in it and even if you don't have children you can do this with your spouse it's like games okay you can play monopoly monopoly never ends well <laughs> i actually just finished my first game of monopoly i think like four years ago with a group of friends and we had to take a picture and like come back the next day to finish the game like that was the first game of monopoly i've ever finished um, 
it's talking about family game nights and stuff like that, even with your, your husband. Romantic. Okay, she's very passionate, this lady. It's like getting your fire back, and it's also activities. Uh, pick up soccer game after dinner in the backyard, just playing, or gardening, like, with your children. That gardening is more of the earth sign, but um, fire signs enjoy gardening. My grandmother is a Sag, and my mom's an Aries. I'm a Sag, son. Those are all sons, and we all love gardening, right? I don't know what else is in their chart, but um, as sun signs, we all love gardening. Getting your hands in stuff, right? She's not afraid to get down and dirty. Um, even like going to a trampoline park, doing something silly like that, that type of thing. But it's definitely like releasing any emotions. This could even be guilt that you feel, okay? For some of you, this is like you're going to have to talk to somebody. That could be causing, pro like, there could be some resentment where Virgos are doing the silent treatment with somebody. <laughs> I always go over the difference between the right thing and the correct thing, okay? This is how good Virgos are at doing the correct thing over the right thing. Because if you're going to give the silent treatment, a Virgo does that the correct way. They don't do it the right way. Virgos are intelligent. <laughs> They preoccupy themselves. They start cleaning. They're busy. And they are busy. They are doing things. Uh, but they're doing that so they don't feel the guilt about giving the silent treatment. Okay? So whatever that is, it needs to stop. And it just it's saying that you need to, like, come up and say what it is in a polite manner and release it. So whatever the situation is, whatever the problem is with this person, you need to bring it up and then release it in a correct manner, it's saying. Some of you, you can get pregnant. Uh, not all of you, but there's a chance or could be somebody around you might get pregnant. But there's this, like, I just pulled up the Death card and the Five of Swords, okay? The Death card is a rebirth in the Five of Swords energy, okay? It's, um, a lot of people misconstrued that energy, okay, or misinterpret it. Um, I've heard, people, like, somebody out there saying that it's, like, manipulation and underhanded tactics, uh, that's the Seven of Swords. <laughs> it's not the Five of Swords. Okay, Five of Swords is a... Uh, people are like, oh, it's defeat. Okay, it's defeat if you're on the other end of the card. Uh, if you're the one with the card, that means victory. Okay, because in the main card, uh, in the Rider Waite, you see two people in the back. And then you see one guy with the sword. Okay, the victor, the winner. Right? And you got to be pretty stupid to go up against two people, one against two. But in the Rider weight, the guy has, um, he's a peasant, so he's just an average Joe. So, you know, there's honor and pride in that card too, right? It's ruled by Saturn, so it knows the rules, and it's Uranus as well, which is the unexpected, right? So it's like the never judge a book by its cover, or um, the underdog card, never underestimate uh, and what I'm getting is never underestimate your abilities, okay? Some of you could get pregnant in in Scorpio uh, season. Uh, for others of you, this is like um, sacrifice, it's saying, okay? Honor. There's honor here and sacrifice, all right? So there's a new situation occurring in some manner. Yeah, see, we got the Ace of Wands on the... Um, Queen of Wands. See, that's a Virgo thing. I always, I know the answer, but I want to look just to make sure. That's more of a Virgo rising thing, I think. <laughs> I know they say Scorpios observe, but if you're a Virgo rising, uh, they're very, very observant. They notice things in the physical world, patterns in it. And generally speaking, they're not very comfortable at coming communicating and talking with people until they, they are comfortable. It takes them a while. Uh, once they've observed their surroundings and they feel safe, then they, they come out. It's kind of like a cancer thing they do. It's a little weird. Um, but you got passion here. So it's like, this is also a new cre creative ability. So for those of you that are writing and you're having problems writing, 
Uh, it's, you can use the same approach with like the main idea for it in the center and then branch it out. You know, like, so you're getting it piece by piece and then, you know, branch that out piece by piece. And then eventually you'll kind of have like what you want if you're writing. That's a good, a good strategy for writing as well. Uh, this card is strategy as well. It is strategy. Uh, it's very detached, but you have to be uh, detached in order to see things from um, for its true nature uh, to understand what's really going on. Okay, it's the number five, which is change. It's very, it can be an uncomfortable energy for the people receiving it. Okay, when you're the one that that has it, it means that they're asking you to do the change. Uh, so these are the type of people uh, that have this energy in their chart. They come in and they break patterns uh, because they see things for what they are. So this is like the energy of somebody's fake crying or somebody's looking for sympathy. Uh, if somebody's acting from animal instincts because they're in a fear state of mind, this energy sees right through that because they're detached. They're not emotionally attached in the situation. Um they, they are also observers, too, right? They it, Because it's Aquarius, they pour out the motions, they understand emotions, uh, and they're humanitarian. So this, is, this is seeing things for what they are, and then making the appropriate um, changes, if that makes sense. It's great reading, you guys. You're going to be uh, flying at it. Things are going to happen real quick. There's going to be possibly messages coming in, too. For a few of you guys, and I feel like inspiration is going to be coming in. Um, fun. There's going to be a lot of fun energy. Hopefully this uh, helped you out, and I will talk to you in the monthlies. Namaste, and ciao for now.